how to turn Kulervo into the ultimate assassin. Corrupted Bombard Eximus, they have Overguard and more health. Yeah, let's do this. Alright. Buff. Collective Curse. Two shots. Versus Nutty. If you cast the AoE and this at the same time, just look at the damage they take. Ridiculous. Twenty five million casually. <laughs> and simulate an actual combat situation. Don't pause AI. Rolling guard. Zoom, zoom. Everything's gone. Now, this build might look a little bit strange, but bear with me. Archon Stretch is triggered by your Deriga, your pet, Sentinel, which has two electric abilities. This and this takes care of your energy needs. Trickery gives you occasional stealth and archon intensify is triggered by recompense because you notice down here it says health 695 it heals you and every time it would heal you it also gives you that plus 30 percent strength the rest of the build is pretty straightforward rolling guard for when you have no energy and you can't recast recompense or there's no enemies within range arcane strike is for that sweet attack speed bonus Streamline is self-explanatory, it gives us more of a flow. Augur Reach and Archon Stretch give us great range for a collective curse. Storm of Uko is not subsumed because it's actually really, really good when you couple it with collective curse and you armor strip the enemies. Yep. And Wrathful Advance is sitting at a lovely 420% flat crit chance increase. Duration is a tiny bit low, but you're going to be using this ability pretty often anyway. His passive is absolutely amazing. 75% heavy attack efficiency, super easy to hit the 90% cap with it. And heavy attack wind-up speed pairs really well with Ceramic Dagger, for instance, which we're showcasing in this build. Now, the Vectus Prime is currently vaulted, I believe. We do have a ribbon for it, so there you go, disclaimer. But the main part of it, which you can also use with Rubico or other snipers, is actually the sharpshooter. Sometimes we'll just want to chill and shoot a few enemies in the head after having locked them down with Mage's Lockdown. Zakti Prand actually makes enemies vulnerable to finishers, which is totally sick. When we're in stealth, suppress stops enemies from chasing and seeing us. They hear gunshots otherwise do have riven for it again not necessary but just nice because you can land some kills with sakti as well what we're mainly using it for though is landing finishers to get ourselves in stealth and then we can go ham with heavy attacks from the ceramic dagger collective curse on our foes just watch them melt you know you have quite a bit of variety with this build you have your sniper your quick pistol opening up enemies for finishers with your melee in case you want to stay in perma stealth or you can just go crazy with the heavy attacks on this. The primary kill opens up basically permanent five times, eight times, ten times combo multiplier depending on how long you stay in the mission. Enough talking, hope you enjoy watching and yeah. Hit me up with your own build ideas and requests and all of that as well. Enjoy. Hey. 
everything's dead. So this is way number one to play. Zoom. Clervo with snipers, collective curse, and armor stripping. Then way number two, as mentioned. Armor strip you as well. Finisher. Okay, they died from the finisher. And Arcane Trickery, 30 seconds of stealth, lovely. Just walk around, shoot them with your Zacti, then make sure you decouple X or whatever your reload button is and your finisher, because otherwise you'll be spamming reload and unable to use finishers. There we go, and instant arcane trickery proc again. So, very, very nice. You do have to sort that out in the configs though. So, as an alternative way to play Calervo, you can also run with the kunais and use the ceramic dagger to stack up combo points for kunais secondary outburst right here very underused in Kanon, and you can get cheap ribbons to be honest people don't go for this a lot as you can see it gets ridiculous critical strike chance and crit damage chance <clears throat> only exacerbated by secondary outburst with another 240 percent both crit damage and Gross. crit multi but it's just fun to see those really big numbers and yeah, Kularvo can assist us with getting combo super fast with Storm of Uko as well. Mitre acts as a very nice bubble cancelling ability. The evolutions and the Incarnon, strictly speaking on the Mitre, aren't really needed. But it's nice because we can then stack up the kills really fast. But this is what I mean by bubble cancelling, neutralizing justice. <clears throat> An augment you can get from, I believe it's Steel Meridian. Yeah, because of the multi-shot, it's basically a guaranteed nullification. And I think, okay, it doesn't fire more in in Karnon form, but it fires faster. Yeah, really, really good. The other thing you could do to make Kunai charge up much easier is go for Scourge Prime, but then it's harder to get primary kills. The thing is with this, you get headshots much easier. But usually run with the mitre for overall utility and because it can kill in its own right. Yeah, kunai with death trap trigger and swift conclusion just do ridiculous damage. I mean, barely even buffed, I did like 25 million today. All I had was the secondary outburst and combo multiplier, and I think the enemy had no armor. Yeah, so let's give it a try. This alternative way to play Calervo more centered around ranged attacks and sort of run and gun. Um, we are going to swap the Archon shards around a bit, and we did put Primed Flow in. So this is by no means a finished build but I did just want to share it today because it's doing really well and you can take it to very high level missions. Absolutely no problem in anything sort of standard up to the 30 minute mark. Any in-game content gets shredded, but if you want to do endurance, you can also, especially if you run Trickery and the Zacti build. This is fun too though, so here's the demonstration without further talk. Mm -hmm. Let's just pause enemy AI a moment. And quick combo. Brrr, look at that. <laughs> it's just insane. And super fast charging in Karnon as well. So even without armor strip, we do really nice damage. But the moment you do this, one shot, one shot, one kill. 
All right, so here you now see uh, we have some combo multiplier, of course. We're going to swap to kunai and get secondary outburst. Strip armor. Okay, and that wasn't even in Karnon mode. That was just normal mode with secondary outburst. Already tier 5 crits, double exclamation marks. And unfortunately, secondary outburst just faded, but no problem. We'll just get it back up again. And kaboom. And yeah, last but not least, we do have that armor and also shield stripping and amazing operator gameplay, which can land you kills if you need them. If you, for some freak reason you should actually die, you can land kills very easily with Unairu. Really quick, this is the pet build that really helps out with energy management. You don't need any shield regen on it because Kalarvo, of course, has no shield. Every five abilities you use, you get a free ability use. Because we have Manifold Bond, which on status killed enemies, enemies who have three or more status effects, which they will even just from our pet's weapon, not to mention our own, Every time we kill enemies with three or more status effects, we reduce the companion's cooldown by three seconds. This has a cooldown of something like five seconds. Here it says, this is also a precept, technically has a cooldown, right? Um, and here, don't even see what the cooldown is, probably something like 10 seconds. Yeah, so we're getting Mystic Bond quite often. Momentous Bond and Regen keep our pet alive because we're killing lots of Eximus really fast and making our pet do some decent damage. Tenacious Bond is giving us 120% final crit damage multiplier on all of our weapons. And the Valkax with Point Strike is needed to trigger Tenacious Bond. It has to have 50% or higher critical chance. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy this alternative way to play Calarvo Lord of Daggers as well. Throw them. Throw them in their faces. And kaboom. Headshot. Boom, headshot. This is the difference, of course, between armor and no armor. Massive. The higher you go, the more important it becomes. And last but... And last but not least, let's just go nuts with classic alt heavy attack. Zoom, everything's dead like this too. Slash slash. Kulovo, the ultimate assassin.